Need for Speed, best movie I've ever seen in my life. There we go. Medieval See? Stuff. Take two is always better. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this was dangerous movie to film. Um, Aaron, actually, I wanted to ask you, were you ever in fear for your life during this movie? <laughs> uh, actually, no, to be honest. Uh, oh. Believe it or not. Um, because everything you see in the film was caught in camera. There was no CGI, uh, no green screen. And so, um, but I, I never, he would never put me in harm's way, right? You would. Only off the set. Only you, off the you set. You're hanging out with me is, yeah, is definitely yeah. problematic and life threatening. Right, right. right. <laughs> but, um, you yeah, know, I, I always felt extremely safe. Safety was, you know, uh, everyone's first priority. Yeah, no, I mean, I was your stuntman my whole life, so I'm actually really safety yeah. conscious, extremely. Uh, and I know Aaron's, like, his capabilities as a driver are incredible, so I could push the envelope a lot with what I would normally not let an actor do. Mm -hmm. But with Aaron, I could, you know, he could really do some amazing stunts, and uh, I would never ask him to, you know, exceed his, his capabilities. Mm -hmm. Never, no way. It's not, that's not really responsible. No. How fast did you let him go? 125. Yeah, that was the top. Yeah, that was about the speeds we would get up to that, you know, I knew. Closed down freeways. That he was still yeah. under full control. Then when we started breaking, you know, high speeds, which, I mean, 125 is still high speed. But when he started going up to 200 plus, we had, you know, some of the best car racers and stunt drivers in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. So, Scott, in your opinion, who's tougher, Aaron or Imogen? Tougher? Yeah. I, well, I mean, obviously Aaron Paul. I mean, you know, when we were looking for this character, it was like I wanted to find the next cool, edgy, young Steve McQueen. And, uh, mm -hmm. and I, I personally feel like we found him. him. Yeah. <laughs> it, her name's Imogen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Aaron. Yeah. Aaron's, yeah, Aaron's is as cool as it gets. And, yeah. uh, you know, and definitely uh, I would never think Imogen is tough. I would think, it's, she's, I would think of her as talented. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. She comes off as tough in the movie. I mean, yeah. she's a very strong, um, you know, strong female character. She's yeah. Yeah. A, and incredibly talented. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's such a. She's definitely a strong woman as, as well. Cool, cool. So, uh, Aaron, did you get to keep any of the cars? Uh, I got to keep all of them, actually. No, I, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't keep. I didn't, <laughs> didn't tell me that. Yeah, well, they didn't oh, want you no to know. DreamWorks thought you'd get a little jealous that I got to yeah. keep the Conus egg and you know all the Lamborghinis and uh, no, I, di I didn't get it. Actually, we were fighting over our favorite car in the film was um, the character I played, Toby. His his car is a '68 uh, Grand Torino, mm -hmm. and um, but there was two identical. Grand Torino. So they built from the, the ground. The key word is was. Was. Yeah. Um, uh, because um, Troy Gilbert, who we like to say his name from the mountaintops, he, he, he destroyed one of them accidentally on set. Uh, he, was, he was sliding, doing a drift into an alleyway. <laughs> well, it's like a, his brother was a stunt coordinator, and he would say, well, you're asking a guy to slide an eight-foot wide alley with a seven-foot wide car. So he unfortunately stuffed the front end into the alley. Just destroyed way. it. Um, yeah. But yeah, we we've been fighting over that car for some time. Yeah, we're still yeah, fighting. So you guys mentioned McQueen. I wondered if there were any other performances in movie history you looked at before you took part in the movie. Um, honestly, uh, the the only person I I, I kind of uh, studied, if I were to study anybody, was a. Uh, uh, was Steve? Um, yeah. I, you know, I I grew up just loving what he he was all about. You know, he was a uh, lived and breathed cars his entire life. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was his life, and uh, he was a racer before he was an actor. And so I think you know, I just thought that he was a perfect person to kind of just watch and study. Yeah. But yeah, that was, that was there was much. a couple guys that I had him look at that, oh, yeah, on that set. were that were the real race car guys. Yeah. The real drivers, and I told Aaron I just watch them. Yeah. Their body language, everything is, is such a distinctive, you know, style to them. And uh, Aaron was, you know, really great at kind of adapting his physical uh, to match how these guys are. Yeah, absolutely. So, Aaron, I wanted to ask you one Breaking Bad question. Mm -hmm. um, I wondered how you. It was such an Jesse was such an emotional character. I wondered how you just separated him from your real life and didn't take him home with you. Uh it's, I mean, the first first couple season uh, seasons, I while we were shooting, I did take him home with me, and the zipper was, broke. 
You couldn't unzip them. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I couldn't. Yeah, it was just stuck. I just. I was. Uh, I was practicing just like more of the just the method type of approach and uh, and just staying in the the character's skin. Really? But then the more Jesse went down that dark kind of rabbit hole, it just got too much. And so right. I started dreaming as if I were Jesse, really? and it was just becoming that's bad. Becoming too much, that's not you good. know, like the bad guys chasing after me with guns and. You know, me saying, yo, and you know, it's just, <laughs> yo, stop shooting at me. Um, so when uh, you come on set and you just look so disturbed? Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, interesting. Um, You're now telling me I know, that. Now it's all, It's all know, making yeah. sense. But, uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's, you, I learned while shooting that. It's just, it's just healthy to kind of just unzip that skin and kind of uh, take a shower and just kind of be yourself for a couple hours before right. jumping back into it. But, um, I can imagine. Yeah. All right, great. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Really great job. It. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Joe. Thank you.